Hi, this is Maddie from Stride and Edge. I'm just going to take you through a really quick, simple warm up to get into dancer's pose. So, we're going to start in a tabletop position with our hands directly underneath our shoulders and shoulder distance apart. Our fingers are nice and spread and gripping into the mat. Our knees are directly below our hips. From here, we inhale, lift the chest up and scoop the belly down. Exhale, we're going to push the hands into the mat to round the spine. So, we're tucking our chin and our tailbone. And again, inhale, we lift the chest up, lifting the chin. Exhale, rounding the back. So we're moving with the breath. Inhale, lifting up, scooping the belly. And exhale, rounding the spine. From here, our next inhale, we come back to a neutral tabletop. We inhale, reach the right arm in front and the left leg behind. Noticing how our core is engaged here. We inhale, lift up again, lifting the chin and the chest. And exhale, rounding the spine and bringing the right elbow towards the left knee. Again, we inhale, extend up. Exhale, rounding underneath. Inhale, extending up. And this time, a little different, we're going to bend the left leg and take that right arm behind us and see if we can take a hold of the left foot. Once we've got a hold, we can kick that left foot into the hand, kicking it away from us so we're opening up our chest. We've got to really focus on something in front of us to help with balance. Our core is engaged. And then nice and slowly releasing the foot, bringing the hand and the knee back down towards the mat. Inhale, we drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, rounding the back. Back to a neutral tabletop. Moving through the other side, we reach the left arm forwards and the right leg behind. And again, we inhale, lift those hands and that foot up. Exhale, curling underneath, bringing that elbow and knee together. Again, inhaling, lengthening out. Exhale. Reaching underneath. Inhale, extending out long. This time a little different. We bend the right leg. Make sure we're focusing on something in front of us. See if we can take that left arm behind us and taking a hold of the right foot. Again, we inhale. We kick that foot into the hand to open up a little bit more. Notice how, notice how that shoulder is opening. That chest is opening. And exhale, slowly release. Bringing the hand and the knee back down. From here, we tuck the back toes. We planting our hands nice and strongly into the mat and lifting our hips up and back to our first downward dog. Just walking the feet out here. Inhaling through deep into the belly. Exhale, we stay. From here, we're going to walk the feet towards the top of the mat. You can have a nice deep bend in the legs. We inhale, come all the way up to standing, bringing the arms up overhead. And exhale, we'll bring those palms towards the chest. From here, we're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. We inhale, lift the chest up and see if we can straighten those arms and ex extend those hands behind us. Exhale, forward fold. See how far we can take those hands towards the ceiling or the front of the room. Making sure the head is nice and released. Keeping the hands where they are, we inhale, lift up slightly so we create a flat back. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper down. Releasing those hands down towards the ground. We inhale, roll all the way up to standing, bringing those arms up overhead. And exhale, palms at the chest. We'll do one round of sun salutation A. We inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift so we can slide those hands up the shins. Exhale, plant the hands. We can step back to high plank. We're going to lower down through chaturanga, shifting the weight forwards and bending the elbows behind us, only halfway. We inhale, straighten the arms, opening the chest. 
lifting that chin up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale, taking the hips up and back to that downward dog again. Inhaling here. And on your exhale, we're gonna bend the knees, look between the hands. We'll step up towards the top of the mat. Inhale to that flat back, so we slide those hands up the shins. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, bringing the arms to the chest as we exhale. So from here, we're gonna bring the right knee into our chest. Inhaling, bringing the knee nice and high. See if we can take a hold of that foot with that right hand. From here, we'll extend that foot behind us, focusing on something in front of us like we did before when we were on tabletop position. We're gonna start to shift the weight forward, so shifting that chest forwards, reaching that left arm in front. From here, this may be where you stay, or we can push that right foot into the right hand, kicking it away. Notice how that opens the chest a little bit more. Inhaling here, lift, feeling that lifting sensation, making sure we're focused on something in front of us. And then nice and slowly coming back up to standing, releasing the foot down, wiggling the hips. So you've done one side of dancer's pose. Well done. Moving through the other side, we inhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Taking a hold of the left foot with the left hand, you can take a hold of the ankle or the foot, and then bringing those knees to touch and the foot shoots behind us. We start to inhale, shift the weight forwards, extending the right arm in front, focusing on something in front of us, something that's not moving, and then start to kick that foot away into the hand, pushing that foot out behind us. And we inhale, lift the chest a little bit more. Inhaling here, feeling that lifting sensation, opening the chest. And then exhale, slowly coming back up to standing, bringing those feet to meet at the front of the mat, wiggling those hips. And then we've done two sides, dancer's pose. Namaste.